Hello. Um, today is Sunday, January 12th, 2020, and I received an email with the result from my 3D MRI swan. Um, evidently, that's the kind of MRI they use to look for microemerging in the brain. And so I got my results today. And we confirmed that I do have, uh, it says either a telandictasia or a chronic microhemorrhage in the pons area of my brain stem. Which is a relief to see that it's on the screen and that, that, that people can see it, but it is hard to realize that there really is something wrong and that it is a direct result of having bilateral shock treatments. I'm only 44 and I have chronic microhemorrhaging in my pods and my brain stem. That's something that normally people, if they get them, it's because they're extremely old. And I'm not that old. So. Um, it was gratifying to me to get the results of my MRI because I've been researching this for a decade and I'd found all of the data specific to the problems, the neuropathology reports about microhemorrhaging and gliosis and myelin sheath damage and all of that in animals and in humans. And now I have confirmation that I am following the laws of nature according to electricity to the brain. So I have a delayed electrical injury. And now my husband's here. Hey, Judy. So. We'll see where we go from here. Talk to you soon.